ever wanted to breathe underwater in Minecraft without potions, explore deep ocean monuments, or mine faster beneath the waves? Well, today, I'm going to show you the secret to making that happen, using a conduit. Stick around, because in just a few minutes, you'll be able to craft and activate your own conduit. Let's get right into it. Let's start on how to craft the conduit. It's not too difficult, but you'll need a couple of specific items. Eight Nautilus shells and a heart of the sea. You can get Nautilus shells by defeating drowned mobs, by fishing, and sometimes you can get them from the wandering trader. For the heart of the sea, it can be found in buried treasure chests, which are located using buried treasure maps from shipwrecks. Once you have all your materials, Head over to your crafting table. Place the heart of the sea in the center of the grid and surround it with the eight Nautilus shells. Boom, you've just crafted yourself a conduit. Now that you've got your conduit, let's talk about how to use it. Conduits only work underwater and need a special frame of prismarine blocks to function. Prismarine blocks can be found in ocean monuments, those big underwater temples you see in the ocean. You can use any type of prismarine. Prismarine bricks, dark prismarine, or even sea lanterns. Here's how to set up the activation frame. Just follow along as I build five by five frame. Once the frame is complete, place the conduit right in the centre. You'll know it's active when it starts glowing and the conduit power icon appears on your screen. The conduit provides conduit power to all players within its radius, allowing you to breathe underwater, gain underwater vision and even haste. The range can extend up to 96 blocks, depending on how many prismarine blocks you place around it. And that's it! You've just learned how to craft and activate a conduit in Minecraft. It's a game changer for exploring and surviving underwater. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome Minecraft tips and tricks. If you have any questions or need help, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.